Welcome to Lynn Rose Crafts. Today we're going to be crafting a cat wreath. Some of the supplies that you're going to need, I picked up this garden stake from the dollar store. It has a bee on the top, but I'm going to remove that and use that on a different project. Um, usually you can um, pull these off quite easily off of the back, these little stakes here. If not, um, you definitely will need to use some wire cutters. You're probably going to want to cut it down anyways because this is what we're going to use to make the tail. You're also going to need one of these eight inch wreaths from the dollar store, just one for the head. And then this one actually is a 10 inch wreath um, for the body. So we're going to put the head and the body like that. I do have 14 inch. We want a really big um, cat on the bottom, but I uh, re recommend for sure using the 12 inch wreath to make it look more um, balanced. And then I have um, some of these witch hat pieces, uh, witch hat, hat wreaths that I had from the dollar store. Uh, I used this on a different project. So I'm going to take and use wire cutters and cut them um, to make my ears out of the tips of these because they're already in a nice point for us and of course you're going to want um this in this case here we're going to use the big blanket yarn again this one i chose to get a multi-color one but of course you can get whatever color you'd want for your kitty cat here and then ribbons and decorations as desired as well so we're going to get started on making this beautiful cat wreath First thing that I'm doing is taking this and kind of measuring it to make sure how big do I want my ears actually to be because I want to keep this bar on here so that I have it to be able to zip tie it to this other form and so I think I definitely am going to I'm going to attach it to the second or inner inner side here to make it a little bit shorter. And so I'm going to cut this just below this little bar here so I can attach it with zip tie and then that's going to form my ears. Now before we do any of that, we're going to want to make sure that we take our yarn here and we're going to cut some of this down, but I'm just going to show you the technique. It's very similar to the puppy paws that I did. I usually take the the reform and I just hold that first one and then literally I will go in and I will just wrap this around here all the way around and then as long as you have this little tail and you wrap it all the way around normally um, when you get to the end you can literally just tie it off uh, if you don't prefer that method you can for sure um, take your hot glue gun and come in here and put a little hot glue right here so you don't have to hold it. I know my hands sometimes get really sore crafting. You can't always um, just hold on to that little tail there. But we're just going to literally go through and wrap this yarn all the way around this form as well as our 12 inch wreath a form. And then once I cut the ears, I'm actually going to take um, the ears here and that you can do a couple different ways as well um, we're gonna we're gonna you can take it and bring it around the outside and fold that all the way up so that it just is on the outside which is probably what I'm going to do because I have some ribbon that I'm gonna put um, on the back of here to make it so that it's kind of closed in um, for the ear so but if you don't want to use ribbon you can wrap it around this way or if you prefer to, you can take this whole piece in itself. You'll probably have to use a little bit of hot glue to kind of hold it in place. And then just bring bring your, your yarn all the way around and up to that tip. And then you'll have to glue the tip of it down if you want it. Not if you didn't want to use ribbon on the back of the ears. In this case, I'm probably going to use the ribbon that I got to close up those ears. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces now. I did go ahead and shape my tail with that stake 
garden stake piece um, before wrapping this. And then once I wrapped it, um, it is quite a bit easier to go in now and continue to shape it however, whatever shape you'd like it to be in. And so I'm going to attach this uh, with a zip tie to the back here. Um, and then probably put a little bit of glue possibly here just to secure it onto the body. Um, if not, um, it will probably not be too sturdy, but it looks super cute just like that. Of course, being on the front and the back. And then we are going to attach the head, of course, here uh, up on the top with some zip ties as well. And then I wanted to show you with the ears, so doing it this way here, um, once that they're wrapped with this, it's quite a bit easier to take to and also shape your ears if you want them to be bowed out a little bit more. So to give it that, instead of that triangle, give it more um, of a ear appearance. And that way also, if you are gonna do some ribbon behind it, like I intend to do, um, it gives it a little bit more open space here and looks more like cat ears. Um, and with the yarn being around it, of course, you can pull on a little bit harder than you would normally because um, if you do it beforehand with these, of course, you run the possibility of them breaking. So that's gonna be our ears, we have our tail, we have our body, and we have our head. And this is some heavy duty like macrame twine uh, that I have. And I have it in black and white. I chose to go with black today. And when it comes to the face, how we're gonna get the whiskers on here is I'm literally going to measure and I'm gonna cut several little whiskers and just glue them onto the front here and give them a cute little nose. So we will be back once he's all together or she's all together and decorated. Okay, so we have secured the tail on here. I ended up doing two zip ties on the tail. One at the back here where the tail is on the body itself where we bent it. And then another one over here where it was rounded. And then I did three on the top here to secure this to make this um, sturdy in the center part more so because you can see it kind of flip flops but it'll be okay because we're going to put some ribbon there um i'm putting a ribbon on a bow on my cat and then i took and secured the ears up here with one zip tie each um it does move a little bit on there so if you wanted to put a little bit of um, glue in there you surely could if you didn't feel like it was secure enough with just the one or you could use two zip ties on there to um, secure them better as well all right here we go here's a finished project i think it turned out super cute i did put the ribbon in the ear there added a bow put the nose on there this is a great craft to do with kids because it is literally just wrapping that yarn right around those wreaths and some zip ties for the most part. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy crafting.